the former head of the Archdiocese of Sao Paulo, Brazil, has died. Cardinal Claudio Humes played a major role in the 2019 Synod on the Amazon. He also was a close friend of Pope Francis. The Franciscan was elevated the Cardinal by St. John Paul II back in 1998. He was known as a champion for the poor. Cardinal Humes was 87 years old. An organization of religious sisters from around the world has launched a new initiative. The program is called New Leaders. It comes from the International Union of Superiors General. They represent more than 600,000 religious sisters across the globe. They often work on the front lines, helping the poor, vulnerable, and downtrodden. Joining us now from Los Angeles is Sister Jane Wakahu, Associate Vice President of Program Operations and Head of Catholic Sisters. Sister Jane, thank you very much for being here today. Please tell us more about this new leadership program and why did you start it now? Uh, the new leaders uh, video that was from the UISG, the International Union of Superior Generals, is kind of raising awareness of the work of the sisters in the periphery. And sisters in the places where they work, they live present with the people. It's served about serving others, accompanying others, about listening, about learning, about networking for a purpose. So the leadership for today is not just about telling, it is about being present with the people. And that's what that video was showing sisters being in different contexts, in different countries, in different regions and continents, being present with the people among the homeless, among the marginalized, among the people who are migrants, among the very poor in healthcare. I want to read one line, one sentence from your news release I have here in my hand. It says, now UISG wants to channel this grassroots expertise to inform decision makers at every level, focusing on the unique experience of sisters who live among the most affected by poverty, exploitation, and climate change. Can you be more specific on that, please? Yeah, for many years, sisters have, have remained in the periphery among the most marginalized. But we are trying to bring that information up so that the lawmakers and policy makers can understand that sisters expertise need to be tapped in those marginal areas to show the work that um, the sisters are doing among the people and the methodologies they have used by remaining close to the people, that it works and they can tap them to show them how to solve some of those challenging issues in the communities and in the local, in the rural areas. In Los Angeles, I was there recently, you talked about homeless, homeless people all over the place in Los Angeles. Sad to see a lot of them just wandering around in obviously drug usage. So uh, the, the Catholic sister is helping there. How would you take that experience in working with the homeless and helping leaders there improve on that situation? Catholic sisters here, we have the Good Shepherd Center where the Catholic sisters have been feeding those who are homeless. And, you know, Feeding them is good, accompanying them is good, but they at least need to create homes for them. And the Catholic sisters may not have enough resources to be able to create home for, homes for them. This is a responsibility for the government, and this that's where the sisters work with the local people or with the government to create a place for the, to, to help these people to, to provide food for these people, but then the government has a responsibility to help end homelessness. So basically, we have sisters who are, who their charism and their mission is providing food and care, accompanying the people and being present to them. We have um, several congregations that are working with, this, with the homeless people, but alone they cannot be able to end the issue of homelessness. They have to be to work with others in order for this issue to end. Well, I think you hit it right in the head there, sister. And we have to cut it short here. We're out of time. But I want to thank you very much for your work and for the work of all the sisters there with you and throughout the world. Keep up the tremendous job that you're doing, and our prayers are with you. Sister Jane Wakahu, Associate Vice President of Program Operations and Head of Catholic Sisters, thank you very much.